This is exactly the same way that wireless charging works on your phone. Your phone's got some coil in it, the charging mat has some coil, and when you put your phone on the mat, your phone charges. Hey everyone, today we're going to discuss one of my favorite demonstrations. I have music playing on this computer that's playing through this cord. Music is nothing but current, so that means there's current running through 500 turns of wire and it's running in one direction and then another, so it's constantly changing. Now, the overview of this, before we dive a little deeper, is that current creates magnetic fields. And so we have a changing magnetic field here, and when I bring it close to this coil, which is attached to nothing but a speaker, we get the same music, which means we're getting the same current in this wire. Now let's take a little deeper look at this. The first thing we have to look at is how current itself creates magnetic fields. Here I have a loop of wire, so it's running through here and then down. So when I'm looking above, what I'm looking at is a wire that's running down. I'm going to sprinkle some iron filings, so they're uniformly all around the wire, and then I'm going to run current through this wire. Okay? And what you're going to see is we get this circular pattern. I put my thumb in the direction of the current, and my fingers are the direction of the magnetic field. Magnetic field is circular around the wire like that. Okay, now that we have an understanding of how current is created by a magnetic field, we also want to think about how current is created by multiple coils of wire. Now, I've discussed this in a previous video before. This is called a solenoid, which is sometimes confused with actuator. A solenoid is just loops of wire that are stacked together. An actuator is a solenoid with a little mechanical device inside that moves in and out. Um, but solenoids create magnetic fields that are uniform inside. Again, I'm going to sprinkle iron filings. So now it's all around the solenoid, evenly distributed, as best I can anyway. And then I'm going to run current. OK. And now what we can see is that inside the solenoid, we get a nice constant field that's pointing in this direction. I put my finger in the direction of the current here, thumb direction magnetic field. So it's pointing straight through the solenoid. And at the end, it's still coming out straight, and then it starts to curl and have edge effects. So when I'm doing this other demonstration, you can try and visualize this is what that field looks like in those many, many loops of wire. We have this nice constant field that's moving in a straight line, and then it kind of comes out in a straight line for a bit, and then hooks on either side. All right, so now that we have all the pieces built together, let's look at this demo again with some of those details. We know that if I put my fingers in the direction of the current, my thumb gives the direction of magnetic field. So when the current's going this way, I have magnetic field out of my coil that way. And when the current's going this way, I have magnetic field into my coil that way. And this is happening continually as the current continually changes. Now, over here, we've got a coil of wire that has nothing. So right now, there's no field, it's happy. As soon as the field appears this way, it wants to uh, create current to oppose that change. So the field appears this way, it wants to create a field this way. It wants to say, no, I'm at zero, I want to stay at zero. So it creates current that way. Let me restart my music because it was playing long enough that it ended. Okay, so this is creating current out, in, out, in. That means that this is going to be creating current this way, so in, out, in in, out. When I bring these near each other, this is now continually fighting the change of this one. So you're getting current, it's exactly the same, it's coming out of the computer, in the opposite direction. But it turns out the direction doesn't actually matter when you're talking about music, because we're just moving a speaker in and out. So it's not like it plays backwards or anything weird like that. We clearly can hear it. This is exactly the same way that wireless charging works on your phone. Your phone's got some coil in it, the charging mat has some coil, and when you put your phone on the mat, Phone charges. Now, the reason that this makes it go to essentially zero is again, we need flux that's coming in and out of this coil. And so right now, there's essentially no flux because this, this is coming in this direction. And so we get no current. When we turn it back, we get the current back. The further away I put them, the less and less flux you get, the quieter the music gets, the closer I get. The maximum that flux inside, the louder the music is. And this is definitely one of my favorite demonstrations. Pretty cool.